Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to draw this Viking knot dragon type thing with a bit of pretend runes and uh, oh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, the day this video comes out, I am going to Lidbrook School and I'm going to be doing lots of stuff about Vikings. So I'm going to show them how to draw a Viking dragon. So start with this curl around there and a curl around there and that will come up there and then down there like that then you want to have a slight curve upwards and then round in like that put a little wiggle on the top there as well and then here this will come around and back on itself and then this Will come down that way. That's where the eye will be. And then what I'm going to try and do is kind of build up a pattern, a whole kind of snaky pattern. Uh, except what first of all we're going to want is to have the leg. And that will come down there and go forward. So it kind of sweeps in back, curl around, back, curl around. So you've got two claws curl around to the back claw and up then that will come to there and then this will come curling around and the Vikings love these curls here and they kind of represent the the joints really so it's kind of like you think of it as being like on a spring and then what I'm going to do is have and this curling around in a knot because that's what they loved. They loved all this kind of knotty stuff. And then I'll have that coming around up there and then have its tail. So it'll be getting thinner towards the end and then that will kind of come around like that. So I'm going to draw this all in ink and I'll be telling the children Viking stories from my Viking Vic books. And and in school they're doing lots of things about ships and um, seafarers. So um, I'll be talking about Viking ships. So you really want to kind of get that little uh, there to give it a bit of sort of grim look. <laughs> it kind of adds to the kind of angry kind of look. Now I would start then, yeah, let's just carry all the way down. To this leg and uh, I'm just making it a little bit bigger than when I first drew it in pencil and then that will come around and we need to plan this so I'm going to draw that coming around there and then I will draw this tail in there so then I can continue that part on and then I can finish off around here and I have to decide which whether that's going up and down or underneath so I think I'm going to have this coming over the top there and that will go over the top as well And I'll come around there, but I'm going to want that to be coming over the top of that part. Now we want to get this line flowing through there, and that line will be flowing through there. Oh, going a bit flat along the bottom there. <laughs> Never mind. And I'm going to decorate this, so I'm going to draw the eye in there. And these kind of little patterns there. And oh, I'm making this up as I'm going along here. So I'm just going to do something like that. Um, put a very simple kind of cross pattern in like that.
and I'm going to make this a uh, kind of a runic carving kind of thing but I can't speak runes <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is go all the way around and do an inline all the way around see you in a moment Now, if you've been following my dragon series just recently, you'll maybe know that I've been writing a dragon story set in Wales. And I'll be showing you how to draw a very Welsh dragon soon. In fact, I'll be showing you when I draw the cover of the book. I can tell you how pleased I am because I finished writing the book and finished editing the first or second, third draft. I'm not quite sure which and I sent it off to my publishers last night and they are very pleased so I'm very very happy because it's actually kind of slightly different story to what I would normally write and um, I'm much longer than I normally write too so uh, I'll be telling you more about that when I show you the cover of the book which will also be in this playlist up here of how to draw dragons Now what I want to do is to draw uh, runes. So I can't write runes. So what I'm going to do is pretend runes. I'm going to go to day I went to Lidbrook School to draw Viking stuff and tell stories. And then here I think I need to just add a little bit more pattern just to fill in that space. It's a very simple pattern like that. You could make it a little more interesting with kind of a bit of grey watercolour. Kind of shade in those bits where they cross over. And I'll just wash those in like that just to smooth it all out and of course we want a little bit under here as well won't we and if you wanted to make it kind of like a 3d object lying on the ground on a table you could add some kind of shadow on the table if the sunlight's coming this way and again just sort of smooth that out if you're using watercolor pencils then you can just smooth out that shadow to make it look a bit more interesting well if you enjoyed that you can go and have a look at my other video of how to draw a dragon's head um, i've also got a playlist of how to draw dragon stuff and failing that you can always go and try the mystery drawing either way make sure you're subscribed uh, to my channel for new drawing videos every monday and friday and why not go and visit my website shoerainer.com uh, learn more about me and what i do and get up to and that kind of stuff uh, you can sign up for my um, newsletter there as well in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye